Well guys, today I'm going to show you two exercises to work the front part of your shoulders, the front delts. Right, about shoulders, well, let me tell you, the shoulder is made of three parts. The front, middle and back. Front, middle, rear delts, right? That's it. They're quite small muscles, so you don't have to have stupid amount of weight to work them. They're a small muscle, so light weights, lots of reps, are probably better for it. That's what I personally do because they get fatigued easier on me. But of course, if you're a lot stronger than me, you'll obviously have heavier weights. But what I'm gonna show you today is my two workouts I do when I'm working the front day, front delt. Um, what I usually do is when I have my shoulder day, I'll do two exercises at the front, two exercises for the center, and two exercises for the back. But today, all I'm gonna do, because the gym is busy downstairs, is I'm gonna show you in the studio exercises with either dumbbells or a barbell. So the first one is a front shoulder raise. What you wanna do is get some dumbbells where I, I usually use between eight and 12s for this. If I'm feeling strong, I'll do 12s, but obviously I'll do less reps. But usually I will do 8 kg and that will probably do for the, obviously certain moves on your shoulders, are, you're gonna be a lot weaker than other parts and I'll explain that when you go through my other shoulder routines which I will put links into the description and they will be up above as well and at the end of each video. So you've got the whole set of three to do the whole workout for your shoulders. Anyway, let's get along and show you the first move, which is front shoulder raise or front delt raise, whichever you wanna do. There's two ways I've seen people do this and there isn't a wrong way and there isn't a right way, right? I've seen these two movements I'll just get the dumbbells and one of the ways I see people do is I see people do this in front of them like that with the hand basically their fists pointing towards you right I don't do them my ones I do them singly and I push them in front of my face individually to my certain sets and reps I want to do. So I usually do 12, right? And the reason I do this, because I think you feel a lot more pump, a lot more, it's the front delts are working a lot more than just doing that. That feels like I'm, obviously because I'm putting my arm that way, I can feel the tension down my arms completely and I don't want to work my, my forearms in any of this. I want to do that because it's feeling there. That way I can feel obviously my shoulder but I'm feeling strain in my forearms and if you've got weak wrists, your wrist might go like that. Where in this way, you don't your wrist cannot bend really that much. So that's why I like doing them this way. You feel much of a better thing. I suggest you do three sets, four sets of these. If they're lightweight, do 15. If they're a bit heavier weight, do eight to 10. Whatever you're obviously wanting to achieve if you're obviously wanting to build muscle, do heavier weights, but not too heavy on these. It's not like, you know, like bench press where you can pull, push loads of weight and you want to build a chest. Because the muscles of each, because, right, I will, I'm gonna explain something to you now, right? I'm no doctor, I'm no professional, personal trainer, but, Obviously, through the years, researching off magazines, obviously, other professional YouTubers, watching Arnie's 
workouts, you know, and explaining the muscles and everything like that. I know that certain muscles and fibers go in certain ways. That's why if you, you do a bench press or you do a fly, the muscles, the fibers go across that way. So that's why it's good for that. Well, every part of your body is the same. So you think all the muscle fibers that go into the front delts are going, so they're going that way. Now, all the muscle fibers in the side ones go there and all the back goes there. So obviously, if you are going like that, you're gonna be working your front, right? Do that, you're not, you're gonna be doing your side, obviously, and then if you're doing where you're raising your back, your, I mean, your arms into the back, where you're raising your arms into, the, into your back, you're gonna be doing your real delts. Just a little tip there for you, so you know roughly what, how the muscles work. You know, like I say, I'm no professional, but I know, obviously, muscle fibers go in certain directions in your body, and if you go the direction the fibers are going, that's how you're gonna build your chest, or build your arms, or build your, whatever part of your body you want to build. Anyway, number two, this you can perform with dumbbells um, or a barbell. It's, it's called a military press. Basically, you get your, your barbell and then you have your arms tucked in and then you want to do is you want to lift it in front of you. Obviously, you'll be working your front of your shoulders. But you gotta be careful not to raise it behind your back because the suit or flare your arms out because as soon as you start flaring your arms out you'll be doing start working your side you know and you don't want that so i'm going to show you with dumbbells instead right and with this move maneuver and any shoulder maneuver you can do it standing up if you feel more safe as standing up stand up i like sitting down more than standing up because I know I'm secure on a bench. I know if I want to lift heavier, I've got, I don't have to worry about my core. I don't have to worry about my legs. I don't have to worry about standing and arching my back. Everything's there for me. So all my focus will be on my shoulders. So if you are new to any, any sort of weight, weight lifting, you know, lifting weights, putting a, a bench, using a bench or a seated, you know, or seat of some sort and doing it out so your back's supported and then you'll only be able to focus on your shoulders. You don't have to worry about all the other things. Right then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you now. You get your dumbbells, right? These are only light for me. Obviously, I'm going to lift heavy for it. And what you want to do is you want to push, like I said, up. Right? Like that. You do not want to go sideways, so your, your arms are like basically parallel with your body because then that's actually a proper shoulder press, right? You want to be in front of you and up, right? A slight tilt is a bit different with dumbbells because you can maneuver them wherever you want. You know, it, it's, if it's better for you doing it this way, do it this way because it's just the same as using a barbell, right? If you want to use a barbell, use a barbell and it's, you know, you can put on weight, you know, whatever. And same again, do it as many sets you are doing and the same way. I cannot tell you what weights to put on, what how many sets to do because everybody is different. You're going to be a lot stronger than me, you could be a lot weaker than me, you could a man, a woman, everybody's different. Find a way to where, right, if you're, if you're going to be doing, if you want to bulk up, right, they always say hit between six to eight, you know, set, um, um, six to eight reps, you know, three sets, four sets. You know, if you want to if you just want to be maintaining and grow muscle 
slowly, but you know, because, and you don't, you're not bothered about strength as well, do 12 to 15, you know, but you want to make them set hurt. When you're hitting them the last couple of set reps, when you're hitting them last couple of reps, you want, you know, struggling and, you know, and then take a 30 second rest to a minute, right? Right? The best way to burn off calories in my book, right, is doing sets quick. Because, yes, you can go on treadmills, run and run, run like Forrest Gump. Run, Forrest! But you are going to be on a machine for half an hour and you're going to be bored, right? You can go and do this move, this, this exercise, and then you, you set, the, and then you, your front, your rear, and your back, and you know what? Leave 30 seconds, and trust me, you'll be sweating by the end of the shoulder, and that's just a shoulder booting, because you're not just gonna, you're probably gonna put another exercise in with them. So, there are my two exercises, right? Obviously, there is a lot more um, shoulder exercises that you can do, but these are the, the only two I'm going to show you today because, like I said, the other machines are very busy today and it's quite hard in my gym to film it and because everything's quite tight together. Anyway, I hope this helped you out, yeah? If you want any sort of exercise with me or show any exercises which you're struggling with or the technique, the form, the you know, or a certain part of the body that you I missed out and you want me to do a video on that, just comment down below, you know, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you next time. Like I said, after this, go and hit the shoulder where it's hitting the middle and also the rear delt. Thank you, see you again.